Welcome to another episode of the Fast Pitch TV Show. I'm your host, Gary Leland, and welcome to my home. On today's show, we're going to um, show you an interview I did with Dr. Dot Richardson, two-time Olympian, that I did while I was at the PFX Tour. Now, if you're not familiar with the PFX Tour, just go to pfxtour.com. Great event. I recommend it to anybody, but I'm not going to waste any more of your time with that. I am going to go straight to the interview, so I hope you enjoy our interview with Dr. Dodd Richardson. Thanks for watching. The Pro Fast Pitch Extreme Tour is designed in a unique fashion that brings the professional athletes in the games to the amateurs. So what happens basically it's an amateur tournament for 8 and under, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 and under and then we have the pros play in the middle of the tournament. So, I would encourage every amateur team to come to a PFX tour stop near them or in a location they want to go and visit. Why? Because you not only play the game you love, but you get to watch and meet the greatest athletes in the sport. And coaches should love it because their young girls are going to be able to look and see how the game should be played. They're going to now look at their female role models in the game and realize they can get a great education they can continue their education, being a professional athlete, and their dream in the sport to continue on past college. My favorite practice drill is actually holding a softball in the hands and tossing it back and forth, seeing the ball and focusing with my eyes on the ball. And I just could always feel a sense of when I was ready to start competing. And uh, that was a simple drill. And for me, it uh, definitely worked for 30 years. My number one tip for a player trying to get a college scholarship is one, make sure you're going to the college for the right reason. That's to get a great education. And softball, we've all been blessed in playing the sport and it's gonna open that opportunity for us. So when you choose a college, one, do you wanna choose a college that's away from home or close to home, in-state, out-of-state, good academics, good softball or great softball and okay academics or great academics and okay softball, those are things that you have to think about. And I just say be proud of the school that you're going to, and it's gonna make a difference in your life to open a lot of opportunities post-college. My number one tip for a young coach just starting a team is one, make sure you're coaching for the right reasons. As a coach, you are beyond an instructor. You are an individual who makes a difference in the lives of these children. So hopefully your reason is to make a difference in the lives of those young athletes. So you are a role model, and think about that. It's beyond ego, it's beyond the wins and loss records, and focus on teaching the basic fundamentals of the grant game, and you will reach those goals of success that other people measure as far as wins and losses. But when you see those kids playing in college and beyond on the PFX Tour, then you know that you've truly made a difference in their lives as their coach. The most important thing in the sport to me is mastering the fundamentals of the game. And that includes both offense and defense. But let me tell you, the, I've played for 30 years and I've noticed the team that usually wins the championships is the team that executes the basic fundamentals. And the higher you go in the bracket to the championship game, the better that everybody is usually on the pitching circle. So defense, they say, wins championships. And of course, offensively, you got to score runs, but I went 29 innings, UCLA versus Texas A&M. We won on a squeeze play with two outs and two strikes. So you will find a way to score if you have great defense. I love using a batting tee. It's a great, another great device to work on your basic fundamentals of hitting. From your stride to rotating the knob and the back foot together with the knob at the level of that ball, which a tee will hold at different levels, high pitch, the, the, the medium and the really low knee high pitch. And you can work on inside, down the middle, and outside. So a tee helps an athlete work on those things. But let me tell you, if you use a tee, make sure your athlete understands how to use a tee. In other words, the bottom of a tee, if it looks like home plate, let them know it's not home plate. It's just a base to hold it there. And an inside pitch, you're contacting it further out in front of them instead of walking up to the tee and trying to hit it. Because nobody hits a ball right here by their belly button. Outside pitch is a little in front of that hip on the outside corner, and then here an inside pitch is farther out, that's why we pull it. And I know you guys know that, but for youngsters watching, make sure you understand that. 
breaking in a new glove for me it was great I just catch Lisa Fernandez throwing 70 miles an hour 40 feet away yes I played when the pitching rubber was 40 feet away and with a white ball um, so it's easy to break in a new glove but a, a little hint is keep a, always keep a ball in the glove make sure you wrap the little small finger side with the thumb side so that it wraps with a nice pocket to the softball don't let it get to where it twists for a baseball size with a softball it's got to be closed end to end so wrap it with a belt or velcro or string or something when it's in your when it's in your bat bag Snooky Mulder Snooky Mulder center fielder for Orlando Rebels she was a pro in the first major professional league that we had in 1976 with the Connecticut Falcons I loved her as a center fielder leadoff batter she ran to first in a 2.55 2.6 Super fast, great, great hitter, great defensive player. She was always one of my all-time favorites. Uh, well, I have a lot of sponsors now with the Pro Fast Pitch Extreme Tour. Uh, can't thank them enough. Everyone from Nike to Combat uh, to Diamond Sports. Uh, we can go on and on with the, you know, the Diamond Softball as our official softball. Uh, for myself, I appreciate Louisville Slugger through the years, uh, Rollins as well. Uh, I can go on, on and on from Sealy Mattresses to uh, Conquer HA, and we've got a lot of stuff going on. But I think the best sponsorship I can say thank you for is the fans. Uh, when you are a softball player, when you're on the field, you know that you are pretty much uh, on a stage, and a stage to be able to give enjoyment, not just with yourself and your team and your opponents, but for the fans. So fans, thank you. You're the best sponsors ever.